I'm the lead developer on Ghost. Um, I'm really excited to be here and uh, talking to you about Ghost, telling you all about it. Before I started, I really wanted to thank Aral for his talk this morning and for really uh, describing far more eloquently than I ever could the, the problem that we're trying to solve with Ghost, at least in some small part in the blogging world. Um, and if you haven't heard about Ghost yet, Ghost is a free, open source, simple blogging platform aimed at enabling digital publishing for the masses, and it's built in Node, and it's also design-led. Um, and uh, the story of Ghost started in November last year, uh, when my very good friend John Anerlin, that's his face up there, um, he wrote a blog post in which he envisaged his dream user interface for a blogging platform. Um, and it was, a, it was a very sleek, very minimal user interface, uh, focus on writing and on eliminating everything that gets in the way between a writer and writing. And the, the key component to that is this uh, split screen editor you can see here. On the left, you've got Markdown, and on the right, you've got HTML. Um, and the aim of the blog post was really to find out if other people liked the idea, if they had the same frustrations with blogging that he had. Um, so it turned out that the response was really quite positive. Uh, there was a lot of interest from the media, and uh, it reached number one on Hacker News for a while, and there was quite a positive discussion on there, and that's quite rare for Hacker News. Um, and so we decided to give it a go and have a go at building it. And so I got a phone call from John at that time, and he asked me if I would please build uh, a WordPress plugin that would replace the whole of the admin with his designs. Um, and so we started, we had a go, and after a couple of weeks, it became really clear that this was absolutely the wrong path to go down, that all we were doing was hitting our heads against the same challenges, the same limitations of WordPress and of PHP, both technologically and philosophically, all those limitations were the motivations for creating Ghost in the first place. Um, and so whilst it was a somewhat difficult decision to come to to build our own application from scratch, rather than joining the WordPress ecosystem, the decision to actually build the application in Node was, it was an easy decision. Um, and that was in part because the plugin that we had started building was largely a, a client-side JavaScript application anyway. So, just try, you know, moving that on to the server side, using JavaScript on both the client and the server, was a natural progression. Um, but also, uh, JavaScript is fast, it's responsive, it would provide us with the kind of interaction that we wanted. And we also wanted to position Ghost to be part of this vibrant JavaScript open source community. Um, so I set to work um, building a prototype, um, some ugly logos. Um, <laughs> don't look very good together, do they? But um, so the prototype was built in Node. Uh, we used Express. I'm using the WEN, uh, WEN JS for promises. It's mostly promise driven. Um, I made the decision to use handlebars. Mm. And handlebars we decided on because we really like the idea of stripping logic out of themes and not having that same problem that WordPress has where it's not clear whether something should be a theme or a plugin. With handlebars, themes are just skins, they're very simple, and it's very clear. Um, and we're aiming for having one clear way to solve a problem within Ghost. Um, but one of the more difficult parts of the, the application to find, to sort of source, when I was trying to build a prototype, was the ORM. Um, we wanted to support SQL first and foremost, slightly strange decision, but we wanted to use SQL Lite so that we could have uh, absolutely no setup required whatsoever. We want to have it so that you run npm install ghost and then npm start, and you can start writing. We, again, stripping everything out between the blogger and their, their words. You think about having a blog, you have an idea, you've got a couple of commands, and you can start writing your first blog post. Um, we eventually settled on Bookshelf as the ORM, um, which I really like. It's actually based on Backbone. So Bookshelf looks after models and collections and the relationships between them. But when it wants to do some heavy lifting with the database, it hands over to Connex. And Connex is what writes SQL queries in um, various flavors. And the beauty of this is we can support SQL first, but Bookshelf is ultimately set up to support pretty much any database you want at some point in the future. So we haven't closed the door on NoSQL, and we're excited to see you know, us, how Ghost can be developed in the future. 
Anyway, I was building this prototype, and uh, back in April this year, I got another phone call from John, and he said to me, Hannah, Hannah, I need you to finish the prototype. I need you to get X, Y, and Z features ready, because in two weeks' time, I'm going to put it on Kickstarter. And uh, two weeks later, that's what happened. And this was the result. Our original goal was £25,000. We raised that in just 11 hours. Um, and over the course of the next four weeks, we raised nearly £200,000 uh, with nearly 6,000 backers across both Kickstarter and PayPal. I handed in my notice at my job. We uh, forged partnerships with some amazing companies, including Invato and Woo Themes, who are going to help us to build a theme ecosystem for Ghost. And most importantly of all, we founded Ghost as a non-profit foundation. There is no ownership. Neither I nor John own any part of Ghost. There are no shareholders, no investors. We can't sell ourselves to anyone for billions of dollars. Um, in fact, nobody can use money at all to assert their influence over the direction of the product. Um, and that means that every penny that we have and will raise is, uh, can only be put towards developing the software. And that leaves us completely free to continue on our mission, which is to build just a blogging platform, uh, but focusing on providing our users with the best experience possible. Um, and at the end of the Kickstarter campaign, we then had to change our focus onto delivering. Delivering a next generation platform. And the way that we went about this was we put out um, a message to everyone in the community that if they wanted to come and contribute to Ghost, if they were interested in becoming a volunteer, they should send me an email. Um, and we talked to lots of different people and picked a, a smallish team just to start with uh, of people with varying levels of time which are available, different expertise, different interests, and also different levels of enthusiasm. And uh, built a team of around seven people just to start with, which we've grown from back then to now as at least 20 people contributing code and uh, even more people contributing quality assurance, photographs, uh, documentation. People are contributing their, co their time in all kinds of different ways. And it's a really diverse group. We've got people from all over the world already, North America, South America, Europe, Australia. Um, and it's been a really fun project to manage to date. Um, back in July, we, promised, we delivered our first Kickstarter promise. And that was to deliver weekly and nightly builds to the VIPs. Um, and I know there's some people in the room who are VIPs and have been playing with the code for a while. Um, we delivered this promise a little bit uh, later than we actually wanted to. Um, and that was because, not because Ghost wasn't ready, but because it took us a lot longer to put into place the infrastructure to deliver weekly and nightly builds to specific people than we anticipated. And that was a, a lesson we learned really early in the project, that we had to really allow time for the infrastructure that goes around Ghost. I mean, all of the other projects that we are working on alongside, a community site, a forum, a marketplace, branding, planning our launch party, all those kind of projects that have to happen alongside and are almost full-time jobs in themselves. Uh, and uh, it was just under two weeks ago, on the 20th of September, that we delivered to all 6,000, roughly, of the backers. We delivered uh, Ghost 0.3.0, was the, the version we launched. Uh, you can install it, you can set it up on your server, you can write blog posts, upload images, publish, build themes. There's lots of the basic founding functionality is ready. Uh, and we've done a maintenance release since then, so we're iterating really quickly, solving bugs and problems. Slightly more interesting date is uh, a public date. We go public on October 14th. And that is the day when we will flip the switch on the GitHub repo. It's currently private. Um, it'll be going public on the 14th. And hopefully inviting some contributions from people all over the community, including hopefully some people in here. The future. What's the future hold? We are building and rolling out our own hosted service. It was never intended that the only way to use Ghost would be to download it, install it yourself. Uh, we have on our site what we call the big green button, which will allow you to set up a blog in a couple of clicks. And this is our way that we're going to continue to fund the development of Ghost into the future. So by using our platform, not only do you get uh, managed hosting, but you also are contributing back to the platform in a slightly different way. 
Um, we've also got a lot more features planned. Some people uh, spied the dashboard that we used quite heavily in the Kickstarter campaign. It wasn't in the first release. And that's because we haven't yet got a plug-in ecosystem. That's something that we still need to grow. And without a plug-in ecosystem, a dashboard really doesn't tell you anything useful. So we decided it was a better user experience if we just pulled it out for now. But other features that we're going to build include improving the SEO, images and video features for publishing content, static pages, tag pages, localization. And the big one is multi-user. Ghost currently only supports a single user. And when we've got multi-user, we will also be investing a lot of time in publishing workflows uh, and building much more complex workflows than you might have seen in WordPress, where editors and authors collaborate together. Um, but all of those features are all focused around publishing content, and all of them are built into our still minimal user interface. And I guess the one last big one is the powerful, uh, flexible plugin API. The idea that while we focus on the core of, a, of Ghost and focus on publishing, we can allow all of the users to extend Ghost in any way they want. So we want to expose all of the functionality and make it really pluggable. Um, that is all the talking I'm going to do for now. I'm going to give you a quick live demo um, of Ghost. So here we have a blog that I set up earlier. Oh, no, we don't. OK. There we go. Um, this is a blog that I set up earlier uh, using the default theme that comes with Ghost. It's called Casper. It supports this big uh, cover image for your blog. And you can see that I've cheekily put the LXJS logo in there um, just for some flair. And when you first install Ghost, it looks a lot like this with a welcome to Ghost post. And uh, if I open it up, you can see what a blog post looks like. Very minimal, nice typography. And at the very bottom, we have some very basic share features. There's a lot more to come. This is you know, really the basics, the groundings of being able to publish content really quickly and easily. If I log in, you can see the back end. Our split screen with a list of your posts on the left-hand side and a preview on the right. Uh, here's the welcome post, what it looks like on the admin side, and a post that I listed, lifted off the LXJS Tumblr blog, just so that you could see sort of content from the real world. Now in Ghost Admin, and I can, log in. I can go and edit this. So you can't quite see that edge. Um, Go in here if I want to publish it. Buttons on the screen. That's the home page. And we've got an extra blog post. Uh, also in the admin, um, we've got obviously the uh, the editor at this post. Edit some content. And. Um, as well as just writing text, you can also include images. Um, and there's also keyboard shortcuts. I should tell about those. Um, if I do a usual normal sheet shortcut, look like uh, Command Bold on a Mac. Command B, sorry, for bold. Then this is all bold. And I can put in another sh keyboard shortcut, which gives me an image. You can see, it gives me a placeholder. The idea being that as you're writing, you might not have the image to hand, but you can kind of leave yourself a little note of uh, what you might want to put an image of. Um, or you can 
go straight ahead and add maybe a URL instead. Go for my favorite defaults. Then the internet's working, that should load. Ah, that's why. There we go, I've broken it. Live demos are always fun. There we go, there's a kitten. Um, and there's also some other funky, interesting keyboard shortcuts, like I can put a date in if I want. Um, and they're all sort of described on our little mark, markdown cheat sheet, help you get started. But there is no buttons, and there never will be any buttons. It's keyboard shortcuts and typing. Buttons would be plug in land. Um, I think that shows you all about the editor. Uh, the last little bit of Ghost at the moment is the settings control panel, where you can go in, you can add your, your uh, blog title and description. You can see where I, log I uploaded that logo. Um, and you can also do simple things like setting how many posts per pages you want, and there's a theme switcher which will live, live reload your views and give you a different theme on the front end. Um, and user settings. As I said, we'll be rolling out multi-user as soon as we can, and then there'll be uh, much more, many more features around uh, author profile pages and all kinds of different things. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, as with every open source project, the decisions are made by people who show up, and the software is written by people who write code. So we really want and need your help to deliver this next generation blogging platform to the world. Um, and if you want to get involved, you can go to ghost.org and sign up to be notified of the public release, or you can just get in touch with me, come and talk to me, tell me what your ideas are, and. Uh, Hopefully we can uh, make this a reality. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs>